Hey everybody, it's Jeff Featherfan, 123 here. Welcome you guys back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we did day one. All the tutorials, except not all the tutorials, because we have tutorials today too. Today too. But anyway... Yeah, we've got more tutorials today, but these will be slightly more interesting. Good morning, workers. Ready for another day of toiling for the profits of your company? The Pikmin seem to still be in sleep inside their onion. What lazy creatures. No wonder they lack survival skills. Stand beneath the onion and press A to call them out. I don't know why it's considered lazy to be asleep sometimes. But okay, shit. Sure. All right, so we've got a lot of Pikmin growth to do today. And then one specific thing that will end the day. Dude. Is it really that hard to consider that maybe I threw you to take out the plant that housed one of these things? So I probably want you to, you know, grab the thing that you dropped. I, I know, again, asking Pikmin to be smart is stupid. I'm gonna grab it? Okay, good. At least they do grab it. In Pikmin 1, they just kind of didn't. I'm pretty sure there are pellets over here. Yeah, here's some more pellet posies. I kind of expected that. I think that's it for pellets, it makes sense, except for the one that's going to grow a little further into the day, but, you know, that's a different thing. Why is my voice being weird? Um, okay, I'm back. My voice is just being kind of funky. Yeah, and it still kind of is. You can probably hear it. Uh, but whatever, it's fine. Um, I'm at least gonna wait until these three make it in before I pluck, just in case some of these might change into buds before, uh, everything gets back. Oh, hey look, a five pellet. Come on. Oh, I saw one change into a bud. gonna be a lot of plucking. As much as I would like to have flowers, I'm not gonna put in the time it would take to wait for them to flowerize. The only reason I was waiting is because I thought some of them might be able to make that conversion while I was waiting for shit anyway, and lo and behold, a couple of them did, so... This requires 35 Pikmin. Notice that you throw a lot faster in this game than you did in Pikmin 1. That's really nice. I'm gonna need you guys to, so that we can murder this thing. Okay, it's dead. Huh. So I need 35 for that treasure, right? I fucking knew it! 
Okay. I don't have quite enough. Let me... These three can go work on the wall. I wish I had enough to get everything back and still have, like, one working on the wall, but I just didn't have enough Pikmin. Which is fine. I only need ten to get the last body. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't even need the five pellet to get back. Why? Because it had decided it was done plucking, even though it shouldn't have been. I'm just gonna put all of these Pikmin on the bulb orb. Get it back a little bit faster. They'll be able to get a really strong work on that wall. Yeah, and swarming works a lot better in this game as well. And Pikmin don't have the, like, I tried to grab it, but I can't, so I'm sad and not even joining your party. Like they do in Pikmin 1. I like Pikmin 1 more than I used to, but, uh... I like Pikmin 1 more than I used to, but it, uh, has some problems with it. And a lot of them boil down to Pikmin don't know how to listen. Just get the Bulbor back to the Onion, create more Pikmin, then we can be on our way. And 70. That's the maximum amount of Pikmin you can have at the end of day two. And I'm gonna pluck them. Technically, where we're about to go, if you left it without completing it, you could make more red Pikmin. I believe that's a thing. But, uh... But I'm not- but yeah, most people don't do that. That's what I'm trying to say, I think. I- I com my brain completely lost track of how to exist for a minute there. Um... That was really weird. Anyway... What is this thing? Get used to that cutscene, the sound with the zoom in on the hole. Warm air is welling up from the hole in the ground before you. What could lie underground? What is wrong? You both show expressions of unease. Do not fear, the leader's group of Pikmin will join you. I shall dispatch my research pod too. Approach the hole and press A to jump in. Emergence Cave. One of very few game very few caves that I'll be entering with less than a hundred Pikmin, probably. I know the Submerged Castle, I'm guaranteed to not have a hundred Pikmin with me because I won't want a hundred Pikmin with me. All the others, I think, will probably have a hundred Pikmin. 
even if that screws me out of some other goodies. I just like having a full squad with me. But yeah, caves. We've got a bottle cap, an orange, and white little bull borbs. They're racist. Why couldn't they be black bull? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I think my entire diaphragm just said don't say that stupid joke. My god. Oh, yeah, you have to tell me about the next hole. Thanks. Because, you know, I totally couldn't figure that part out. Z adjust the camera? Oh, yeah, Z turns it to top view. Duh. Treasure. Body. Yeah, what happens if you collect a body uh, while you're in a cave and don't have an onion for it to go to, you might ask? Well, we're gonna see soon after this bottle cap. Five fifty. Quenching emblem. I've also seen people say that this isn't even worth doing, and I 100% disagree. I don't know if it's just my nature where I feel like I need to clean up on um, the floors, because I do that in outside too. If there's bodies littering the ground, I tend to want to take them back to the onion, not because I feel like I need more Pikmin, but just because I want it to look, I just want to get the bodies out of the way. But yeah, Kurz desist Zerk! How can you possibly consider this beast in red a treasure? Beasts are incompatible with my circuitry. I suppose I will store your finds in my hold. But I do not think beasts will be worth much. Yeah. Any bodies you take back while in a cave do give Pocos. And there are people who have paid off the entire debt using pretty much just bodies. I have seen it. I've seen someone pay off the debt using just the snowy bull boards. You can fight here in the emergence cave. It's kind of ridiculous. More in just the level of tedium required. Like, it's not something that I personally would be able to do purely due to a lack of patience. I've done some stupid, long-winded things before, but that's a little much. Hey look, more bodies. <laughs> it's inconceivable that such an immense object has been buried here for so long. The design on the outer shell resembles the surface of the planet as seen from space. Perhaps this can be used for something other than salvage. But how will we ever lift it? I fear that even 100 red Pikmin will be unable to lift it. And you decide, ah, oh, my squad will. No, nah, it requires exactly 101. Because, you know, why make it exactly 100 when we could make it 101? Why make it some other arbitrary number? The introduction of something that is heavier than the normal Pikmin you'd expect to work has to be something as crappy as 101. bodies up here? I did. Okay, I think that's it. Come on. It's so dark in these caves.
And there's the violet candy pop bud. Pikmin look like they yearn to be tossed into the flower. Well, I can grant that wish. Each pop, each candy pop bud can only hold five. And here are my favorite types of Pikmin. Purples. They are sumo wrestlers. They are strong as shit. And they are very heavy. When they land on an enemy, they can stun said enemy just because of how freaking heavy they are. They also will home in on enemies, but um, it only works if your reticle is not trained directly on the enemy. Which is something that a lot of people don't actually know because it's not something the game tells you. You just kind of have to figure it out. And I've seen a lot of people point their reticle directly on an enemy, throw a purple on it, and be like, Wait, it has a homing attack. Why isn't it taking it down? Because the reticle was directly on the enemy. There's no... The homing attack literally makes it fail if, it, if the reticle is directly on the enemy. Also, purples are by far the slowest Pikmin. Especially leaf purples. So yeah, there is that. Use reds can help with speed. I'm gonna leave Louie behind so he can keep track of them and send Olimar off to the exit. I'm starting to think my recording software is what's making these caves so dark. I don't remember them being this dark when I played on my own. But, oh well, I'll get through it. And now it's going to show us the geyser. This doesn't make much sense. The fact that time is stopped in caves already doesn't make sense. The fact that you can get out of a cave just by jumping onto a geyser makes such so little sense, especially since normally touching water makes Pikmin drown. But jumping on a, a water geyser is totally fine. Anyway, astounding! Water is shooting out of this geyser with incredible force. Sensors indicate it has enough power to launch you in the air. Approach it and press A to try. Except I don't really want to yet. And, wow, okay. They got that back the moment the, at the moment I reached the geyser. That's hilarious. Spherical Atlas. There is a device resembling a microchip embedded inside this sphere, retrieving data. Error. I could only decode a portion of the data, but I did. But I did retrieve a wow. But I did retrieve new geographic charts. I will input this data into my planetary database and name it the Sphere Chart. Press Start Slash Pause to contact me and access the Explorer Kit. Blah blah blah. Um, yeah, this is the introduction of a special treasure that does more than just give you pokos. And you can hear the treasure. Um, the treasure gauge turning off sound even though we don't have a treasure gauge yet. Hmm, I wonder if we're going to get a treasure gauge in the future. Who would have freaking guessed? Yeah. 22 Pocos from those bodies, and that's a light haul of bodies. Anyway... <clears throat> yeah, there's more pallet posies out here, but since you've completed the cave, you're automatically sent back and can't use them. You have successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision-making, gentlemen. We must celebrate your first successful spelunking expedition. You've gathered a large amount of data that needs in-depth analysis. I shall send a report back to the president tonight detailing your progress. Olimar and Louis, since you will explore a new area tomorrow, today's work is done. What, you still want to work? Unacceptable! You may not realize it, but you are exhausted. You should take a much needed rest as you have all the time you need to collect treasure. No time limit in this game. Haste makes waste, so take it slow and steady. 
Anyway. Ah. We have liftoff. Today's report. We've earned 672 Pocos. Grew a total of 40 red Pikmin because 10 of them turned into purples. Still haven't lost a Pikmin. Baby steps first, all in all. Plan, we plan well and don't worry about me. Our debt is with Happy Hokotate Savings and Loan, after all. Besides, there's nothing to re left to repossess. So ha! So, that was the end of day two. And tomorrow, we are going to start the Awakening Wood, which we will be doing in the next episode. I will see you guys later.